Thank you. You're most kind. I am Brother Grisnash. I went up the mountainside in solitary prayer seeking to face my fears. Indeed, I found them. A bellowing krognik demon with sharp teeth and a long snout descended upon me in a rush of wind. Captain, a krognik demon has a decidedly wolfish appearance. Brother Grisnash, is this not the traditional shape of the evil one and his minions among Tellarites? It is. I believe this may be significant, Captain. I headed up the party that sought to rescue Brother Candry. Without warning, the demons appeared and attacked us as we approached the mine. Can you tell us what they looked like? Like the demons that have plagued devout folk since before our people left the Earth. Huge, muscular demons with ruddy skin. Truly the manifestation of evil. With bat wings, horns and talons and a pointed tail. God preserve us all. One tore open my arm and I surely would have perished, but for my companions who bore me back down the mountain. The demons didn't follow you? No. Brother Candre was, or is, my partner. I was on the communications link when the demons caused the rockfall and silenced him. He said he'd found a strange door with devilish writing. Truly, he came upon the gate of hell itself. I am Brother Stephen, an Ignatiate following the holy teachings with mind and soul alike. I believe the anomalous mineral readings in combination with evidence of ancient disturbances in this otherwise highly stable geologic location indicates previous habitation of the region eons ago. Why, Spark, you two should get along fine. He sounds just like you. I would be equally honored to discuss medicine with you, Doctor, as science with your Vulcan associate. Let me continue. I believe our god made humans, aliens, and demons all. If I could get a real demon into my study, I would bless our god for the opportunity, as I thank him for everything in this life. You tread close to unholy knowledge, Brother Stephen. I appreciate your prayers, Brother Roberts. Uh, Captain, if you and your people go up the mountain, I hope afterward you will visit me in my study, which is next door. I'm too old to make the trek myself, but I'm eager for knowledge. In return, I will offer you what insights our god grants these old eyes. Fascinating piece of equipment. Highly advanced technology. You see here, it seems to have been damaged, however. Take it to my workbench and let's see if it can be repaired. I fear my hands are too shaky to perform such fine work, but perhaps one of you can do it. Mr. Spock, see what you can do about that hand. This machinery is delicate, but I have managed to repair the circuitry. An old-fashioned computer. It appears to have some type of simulation running. You are interested in my little museum of curiosities? Looks like a... yes, tell us about these things. I enjoy talking about these treasures. Shall I go into mineral specimens? True curiosities, nothing more. I think they're very pretty, don't you? Shall I go into meteorite? I believe this is evidence of the cataclysm which destroyed the moon of Pollux V eons past. I've constructed a theoretical model based on analysis of the planet's rings of what things might have been like. I think that the moon, like Earth's moon, would have made a total eclipse of the sun possible. I would have liked to have seen that, for conditions making a perfect total eclipse are rare in the universe. Our god creates great wonders. Shall I go into mineral fossil shells? One of the oldest forms I've seen on this planet. Our god makes beautiful things indeed. Shall I go into mineral twist skull of a small alien animal? 
The skull of a modern Silati, the largest creature native to this planet, about the size of a house cat from Earth. The Silatis combine a rather insectoid pattern with four-legged reptilian form, including praying mantis-like forelimbs. Shall I go into mineral twist of metal? This chunk of rock is a greatly weathered example of a vanadium tungsten alloy, which doesn't occur naturally. It is my best evidence that the area was previously inhabited. Shall I go into... Or would you rather move on to something else? Very well. I can't imagine why, but if you have a further interest in any of this, take what you like. But please remember to return my treasures when you're done with them. And circuitry triggers a connection and the door opens. Thank you for repairing our Somnambutron. Stop. I welcome you on behalf of the United Federation of Planets. Who are you? Where you come from? We call ourselves Nauians. Thousands of years ago, we saw that meteor impacts were going to cause an ice age. We created this huge underground shelter to preserve our race, keeping us in suspended animation until the planet had recovered. We programmed the machinery to revive us at the next eclipse, but we did not count on the destruction of our moon. So, perhaps you can tell us about the demons. The demons, as you call them, are created by a machine designed to keep intruders away from our sleep chambers. It pulls from the minds of any approaching creature their most feared enemy and produces replicas to scare them away. For you and your crew, it was Klingons. For the Tellerites, a wolf demon, and for the other humans, a demon from their religion. On behalf of my people, thank you for waking us. I will turn off the machinery which creates our guardians, so that they no longer bedevil those with whom we now share our home. Oh, whoa! Alas! The key is missing. I can do nothing. Even we will suffer the attacks of our own guardians unless the key can be found. I implore you. If you can help, please do so. Jim, think about that skull we picked up from Brother Stephen. Now look at this alien. See the resemblance? A child? No, I see many differences. This must be what our people who did not slumber have become. Still, I would like to see these remains properly interred, according to the precepts of our religion. May I keep this? Of course. I think you will get along well with the Pollux inhabitants, and I'm sure you will have interesting theological discussions. You found the key! I can now turn off the machinery creating our guardians, and no more sentience shall be at risk. Surely the Holy One smiles upon us all. I have no way to thank you, Captain. But please carry this request from my people to yours. We have much ancient knowledge we can share, and we would like to join your Federation. Go in peace! I will be glad to accept your application to the Federation. We shall have a diplomatic envoy sent, 
to make the final arrangements. We look forward to meeting them. We also look forward to having discourse with the colonists. Farewell. May the Holy One bless you. Live long and prosper. Kirk to Enterprise. Beam us up, Mr. Scott. Message from Starfleet. On screen, Lieutenant. We have read your report on the problems at Pollux 5 and evaluate your performance at 100%. You and your crew received four commendation points. A perfect mission, Jim. You are a model for all Starfleet. I might have known there weren't any demons. We all have demons of our own bones. The ones we can't confront are often the hardest to deal with. These demons were based on fear, Captain. A human failing. I don't know, Spock. Everything that I've ever read about demons describes them as having pointy ears. 